We are on the go with Joe, and today he is at a local bakery that has now expanded its menu to create an online restaurant. Yeah, and this business doesn't just offer great food, but really an inspiring story as well. So Joe is live from Beaverton with more from Karina's Bakery. Hi, Joe. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, uh, I'm here right now at Karina's Bakery. I'm joined by Katie Miser and uh, the namesake and founder, Karina Comer. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but several years ago, uh, Karina, when you first opened your bakery, we did a show here. It's a really cool story. First of all, you are an all-vegan bakery, mm -hmm. right? And you kind of specialize in uh, food from a particular part of the world, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, we specialize in uh, Scandinavian food, especially Swedish. I grew up uh, learning those recipes from my grandfather and my mom. and. Um, so we have things like our almond cake over there and coconut cake, our classics from the region. And, and all vegan. All everything. vegan, lots of gluten-free options too. Okay, now, yeah. uh, as we were talking about, it's, it's kind of an inspiring story behind your business as well. Karina, you're legally blind. You have been since you were a very young child. And so when you founded this, you kind of wanted to really make a difference in people's lives, not just by food, but by offering employment. So mm -hmm. you've gone out of your way to like employ people that are dealing with different disabilities and that's something you're still able to do, correct? Yeah, I still, uh, of my six employees, four have some sort of vision or hearing or learning disability. Uh, and yeah, it's really important that if they want to work that I provide a comforting place where they can feel like they're wanted and that they can work. Yeah. That, that's so awesome. So that alone would be a great reason for us to come here and do a story. But the reason we're here today is they are expanding essentially into what they now call Stockholm Soup, Salad, and Bread. And essentially, it's an online restaurant. So I'm going to bring Katie here. Katie, you're with a company called Louvre Media. You're here in Beaverton, just at the block. I guess you guys were fans of Karina's handiwork. Yeah. And you had this idea for an online restaurant for a food. Tell us about it and kind of how it works. Yeah, so despite all the craziness going on, I heard about these things called virtual restaurants. Um, I thought about it for a little bit and then pitched the idea to Karina and she hopped on it right on it, honestly. Um, I think it, with less than a week, she had a menu over to me and I started working on names and logos and here we are. So tell me about what, what, what it'll be and how it operates then. Um, so it'll be pretty much like a second avenue of product. Um, we'll still have the bakery, everything's the same there. For focusing on goods, baked goods, sweets, treats. But now we have this second one, still vegan, but more, uh, I like to say, savory, okay. um, soup, salad, and bread. And so what are some of the things that uh, we'll be able to get on the menu, on the online menu there, Karina? Yeah. Uh, like one of our signature ones will be called Moore's Minestrone, meaning mom's minestrone that has some Scandinavian spices and white beans and such in it. And it's nice and hearty, but all vegan, all healthy. Uh, we'll have um, our version of a Caesar salad coming up soon, as well as potato and rice salads. So and that was asking me a vegan Caesar. I'm, I'm curious yeah. to see how you pull that off. All right, yeah. now, uh, you can uh, find them. You can find Stockholm Soup, Salad, and Bread on Grubhub, and it's going to be expanding to other apps, I guess, in the, in the near future. And then Karina's Bakery is right off Lombard here in Beaverton, where you can get your fill of all sorts of tasty vegan goodies. Guys, thank you very much. And, guys, coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to show you how they whip up some of these tasty treats at Karina's Bakery. That's in just a bit. Let's send it back to you. Uh, it looks delicious, Joe. Thank you. It Love does. the story. So yummy.